Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are doing all right. We have five active missions. We have the Jupiter flyby for photography. This is a diplomatic mission with the NASA. And we have the Uranus flyby, infrared observatory, and Venus orbit, which is a milestone mission, which will finish fourth or fifth. I don't even know fourth. So, okay, let's continue on and continue on some more. Skylab crew return. United Space Nerds astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. In a televised interview, crew member Cole Cabone spoke of sharing the station with an astronaut from another agency. Things got a little cramped up there, but the extra conversation was welcome. Gained 200 support. Nice. And we have our budget review, where we are going up to 714,000 from 663,000, I think it was. So, very nice. A lot of support gained in this, uh, in this year, in 1983, or 1982 actually. We gained almost 8,000 support, that is not half bad. There's a long way to go to the next tier though. But an extra 51,000 is welcome when we do get there. Alright, Venus orbit payload complete. Vehicle parts gain two experience levels after launch, minus 10% launch liability. But we're already at 80%, so. Or are we? No, that was the payload reliability. Alright, uh, Phobos photography is ready together with NASA. Launch reliability is not great, but. Hopefully, we'll get it up there. Weather is looking good. Good conditions. 7% risk of a critical failure. All right. Let's skip the countdown. We're not skipping the launch ever because that's exciting to see if we get up there or not. Looking good so far. Good launch, it seems. Yeah, that is going to space. Uh, ooh, we just got a secure launch. Nice. And no increases because they're already maxed. The Atlas and the Agena. Okay. Enter Mars transfer orbit. We can do that. We have thrust and drift that we need to think about. We have a margin of minus one to one. And... We need nine, so we need to hit this three times on the last turn. We have four turns, three commands per turn. So we need to hit this three times on the last one, which means that we need to have six data and three comms ready for the final turn. Okay. Okay. So how about we start with a signal attenuation test. Then we do a manual thrust adjustment, which will push us way over, but then we can pull it to back with the micrometeorite detection, giving us three, one, and three. We need to get up to 11 nav. That's quite a lot. We only need to get to eight. We only need to get to eight. Okay, I think this will work for a first turn. Signal attenuation test was good. Manual thrust adjustment was good. And the micrometeorite detection was good. Okay. Now... We could do another signal attenuation test. And then maybe do micrometeorite detection.
and do some Doppler tracking. That's a lot of power we are spending, but that's okay. Nice. An extra calm. Uh, there. Okay. So we have two turns left. So at the end of this turn, we need to have three calm. We need to have six data. And we need to have eight nav. So we can do a manual thrust adjustment. Then we can do a micrometeorite detection and a recharge because that takes us to smack in the middle, zero drift. It takes us to more than enough of both of those and we take it takes us to a eight nav and we get three next turn taking us to 11 giving us our bonus reward so all good very nice then just just one two three 50 percent bonus reward more than enough thrust perfect and we can resist anything that goes wrong so resist that and there we go, 50% bonus reward, and we are on our way. Very nice. That gives us a tiny bit of support and science for four months. All right. Then we have the Venus orbit, which we need to build a vehicle for. We will do... Gina is cheaper and takes shorter time to build and more reliable. So, but we also have the Athena, which is cheaper, but we lose 10% launch reliability. So let's select this part and then we'll do the Atlas, I think. Could do this, but that just makes it way more expensive. Let's do the Atlas. That gives us 76% launch reliability. I am okay with that. Then we can do composite casing to reduce our costs a bit. And we have these guys available. But I want the support. It's not that much support though. And we save like 300,000 almost. Now let's just build it in house. Build that vehicle. Okay, we still have five active missions. We have a while to go on Unity. And uh, the Granat is complete this month. The infrared observatory. Uh, okay. The payload reliability is not great on that. Why can't we do this with the space station or with the space shuttle? Hmm. Uh, I guess because it's heavy. 9,000 kilos. I guess it's the Saturn II, which means that it's the Saturn V. This is an expensive mission. I think we'll go with the advanced shock absorption here for a little bit more reliability on the payload. And we'll, now here, we could save almost 600,000. For just under 200, or just over 200 support, 270 support. Mm -hmm. 
I think that's worth it. Let's do it. One year, one month. Okay. We have a new request mission here. Rendezvous attempt. It's challenging. Okay, but we don't have any slots, so it doesn't really matter. When are we getting a slot? Uh, uh, so we'll co complete Jupiter flyby next month. Phobos for three, three months until the mid course. Okay. So we have the Jupiter flyby next phase this month. Soviet Union is launching Jupiter flyby in 12 months. All right, let's continue the mission. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. Radiation. Okay. That's the first time I see that, I think. Yeah. All right. So what does radiation do? Radiation, two radiation will generate at the start of the next turn. But what does it do? Radiation threat. Radiation in the form of cosmic rays and solar wind can cause serious software and hardware malfunctions. Keep radiation as low as possible to prevent loss of payload reliability. Radiation dam damage only persists for the current task. Two radiation will be generated at the start of the next turn. Each radiation causes minus 5% payload reliability at the end of the turn. Okay, wow. Luckily, our payload is reasonably reliable. Um... Hmm. We need 12 of each. So how about we do a ranging uplink and then an external sensor alignment. That takes away anything that would do damage and gives us 1, 3, and 2. And we have 5 turns and 3 commands per turn. Then we could do a gyroscopic stabilization. That gives us one, four, one, and five. I think that's a pretty good start. And our payload doesn't degrade. Ooh, this command will generate an additional two data. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Four, three, and five then. Payload stays at 80%. So I think we'll do the same thing here to bring that down to zero. That brings us to five, six, and seven. And then I think data compression taking us to 10, five, and six. Yeah. All right, that was a success, that was a success, dang it. We, we reduced by two, we're going to assist that. I don't want that to be reduced. We handled the radiation, so that's good. This means that we can do this twice and handle the radiation again, taking us to six, 11, and 10. Then we can do a gyroscopic stabilization, taking us to 9, 9, and 13. I think that works for me. Dang it. All right, we'll resist that. Okay. 9, 9, and 13. We have two power. Now... We have two turns remaining. I want to do this twice. 
Then we can do this once. Taking us to 9, 17, and 14. And then we just need three comms, which is basically hitting here next turn. And that gives us the nice two and extra additional data. The one thing that we don't need really is data. Uh, we'll resist that. All right. So then we just need to hit the gyroscopic stabilization. We can do a couple of recharges. That gives us our bonuses and everything is fine and dandy. Nice. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's so cool, man. The game is really quite beautiful. All right, first for the Jupiter flyby, an extra 250 support. And we get 2,000 support in total and 1,193 science for five months. That is not bad. That is a very good result. That is a very, very good result. And we completed that first 14 months ahead of Japan. And we just need to f complete one more thing first. Then we get mission research costs reduction by for six months, which is fantastic. And we have a mission underway, the Uranus flyby, which will give us the first place here and complete that. It's a 109 month mission though. So I actually think we'll, we'll finish this first. Uh, the, um, the, um, modular space station two, we'll finish that before we finish the other one. Monthly rewards on completion, 150 science and 50 support for 300 months, I guess. Not bad. What did this one give us? 150 and 50 for three months for 300 months. Okay. Not bad. We're getting 2,000 from missions right now, so we'll finish this research next month. Nice. And we actually have a mission slot, but I think I'll wait because units of research is complete. Uh, let's select the Grand Tour. Wow, 13,200. You know what? Let's not select the Grand Tour. Let's do Jupiter orbited. That's cheaper. And then we can get the Galileo payload so that we unlock this down here. Mars prep missions. And we'll, of course, continue on with the modular space station as well. Now... If we take a look here, we are the only one who has the research, so we're going to finish first. And these reduce payload reliability, so we're just going to go standard. Standard payload, wow, 2.2 million for that. Wow. All right, build that payload. And we have the next phase of the Phobos photography coming up next month. And the Colossus is complete. Volcanoes on Io. Your Jupiter flyby mission has made a spectacular discovery observing nine volcanoes erupt on the moon Io. Plumes from their eruptions, the first active volcanoes witnessed on another body in the solar system, reach more than 300 kilometers above the moon's surface. Gain 500 science and 250 support. Nice! Jarius, 
You retired. You have been an inspiration, mate. We'll get you back in there on another. It'll be Jadius Jr. Okay, mission training bonus is increased by 300%, but minus 25% launch reliability? How? 41% launch reliability? We are definitely going launch reliability training on this. There is absolutely no doubt. And we're going in May. Confirm. So we're going in a year. Then we have the Phobos photography, where we need to do the mid-course maneuver. And let's do that. And we need thrust. And we need 10 thrust. So we need to hit this three times on the last turn. We have four turns and three commands. We need six, eight, and 10. Okay. Well, if we do the Doppler tracking, then we can do a couple of micrometeorite detections, taking us to 2, 1, and 4. I think that's reasonable. Dang it. Well, we'll resist that. All right, so we get nav on this, so we just need to get to five nav. That's fine, I guess. And we need to get to six and nine. So six data and nine cobs. All right. Well, I think I'll do a Doppler tracking, a packet transfer, and a manual course adjustment or thrust adjustment. That takes us to 3, 3, and 7. Or 3, 5, and 7, sorry. Let's do that. Okay, then we actually just need six comms on this turn, but we need six comms on this turn. So... If we do that... And then we do that. That gives us the data that we need. It gives us the nav that we need because we'll gain it. And it gives us the comm that we need for the final turn here. Dang it. Uh, we'll resist that because we need that comm. Damn it. Uh, we'll resist that because we need that nav. All right, one, two, three. That gives us our bonus. We can only resist once. Hopefully we won't need to. Uh, well, even if we do, that's fine. That's our plus 50% bonus reward. Very good. That's a tiny bit of support and some science for five months. Okay, we have a request mission here, Earth's Oceans, it's pretty decent science. We don't have any active mission or empty mission slots though, so let's just continue on. Pluratus is complete next month. 
44 Saturnian moons discovered. Your Voyager probe has discovered 44 new minor moons orbiting Saturn, bringing the known total to 82. We are running, running out of Greek and Roman gods to name them all after, one United Space Nerd scientist jokingly complained in the news article. Gained 750 science. Nice! 82 moons. Alright, Venus orbit vehicle is complete. Our payload reliability goes down, but it's still reasonable. So I think we're going to go with science training. And then we'll go for a launch date in August, I guess. Because going down to... 66% launch reliability doesn't really appeal to me. So we'll go in August. Confirm. It's going in one year and two months. We have a lot of our mission slots tied up at the moment. Three of them on long-term things. Two of them that I haven't even launched yet. So... You're launching in 11 months, you're launching in 14 months, and your next phase is in 4 months. Okay, that's not too bad. And our Jupiter Orbiter, Orbiter research is done next month. Let's take a look at the... That's not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at Mars readiness. So we are at 26%. China is 10% behind at 16, then the Soviets and Japan at 14, and NASA way back at 6%. That's horrendous. What are you doing, NASA? Diplom Diplomacy-wise, we are allied with NASA. We're friendly, almost friendly, with Japan. Well, halfway to friendly. And I actually really want to get down here with China. But uh, we'll see if that happens. Let's carry on to next month. Jupiter Orbiter research complete. Launching an advanced probe to enter orbit around Jupiter will provide vital data on the solar system's largest planet. However, the probe will need to be specially hardened if it's to survive the harsh radiation created by Jupiter's magnetic field. Okay, so we'll research Galileo. And that takes 8,800 science. We have 1,300 science already, so we'll take it up to 3,000, almost 600 on the first month. That's not half bad. Uh, we have a new mission here, Tethered Myers Minor Rover, Mini Rover. Mm, a lot of support, good science. Mars Tech, this mission's ex Mars Experience Award increased by 50%. That is not a bad mission. I think we'll do that if we can. NASA share booster improvement. Due to the close relationship between your agencies, NASA have shared a booster engine refinement which has directly improved the launch reliability of the launch vehicle TOT on your upcoming infrared observatory mission. Cool. Increase launch reliability increased by 10%. Nice. Well, let's just continue on then. Oh, our science just dropped a lot. But we're still we're more than halfway there for Galileo, so that's nice. And Phobos Photographer is ready for the next phase. So let's do that. And we don't see Phobos though. Where's Phobos? Hmm. Okay. We need to deal with drift and we need 10, 4, and 10. Four turns, three commands per turn. All right. Drift needs to be within minus one to one. Okay. Let's see. If we do uh, 
a visual spectrum sampling. Then we can do an orbital plane adjustment and some data compression, giving us one, five, one, and five on the first turn, and we are still within margins. That is a very, very good first turn, in my opinion. And we get a little bit of extra data there. Nice. That was not so nice, though. We'll resist it. All right, so five, two, and five. That is not half bad. So if we do a gyroscopic stabilization, then we can do infrared mapping, taking our drift to zero. And then we can do a data compression taking us to 13, 2, and 5. Then next time, we can do an external sensor alignment, giving us the data that we need, and almost the... And then we can actually just do a location explore extrapolation, and then we're done, I think. So yeah, let's do that. Ah, damn it. Uh, we'll resist that because now we can do an external sensor alignment and a location extrapolation which gives us our bonus award and we can even do a recharge and we're within our drift parameters very nice 50% bonus award achieved All right, and we get some reputation with NASA. We get some support 200 science for 10 months. That's actually pretty nice. And the launch escape system. Cool, cool. And it frees up a slot for us to do a mission. And we wanted to do this mission over here, the tethered Mars mini rover. It's a 10-month mission. We're going to do it. And we're going to give it power. Okay. Unity is complete in one month. That's our new modular space station. Uh, modular space station, space station 2. The Venus orbit is launching in 10 months. The Uranus flyby is launching in 7 months. And the infrared observatory is done in 5 months. And the modular space station is done in 1 month. Very nice. All right, mini rover naming campaign. Your PR team have suggested running a worldwide competition to name the tethered mini rover that will be accompanying your Mars lander Vesta, which is currently under construction. The competition will be aimed at school students and will help raise awareness of the mission. Cool, I'll do that. Let's fund it, 100,000. You have approved the campaign. Your PR team will report the results of the competition in the future. Okay. And... Our modular space station 2 payload is complete. That is cool looking. Uh, minus 100% upgrade cost, but minus 5% launch reliability. And I think our launch reliability was going to be pretty shitty anyway. Uh, we can, Ah, no, no, it's not. Uh, we can use Horus. And reduce costs and still have 93% launch reliability. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's reuse Horus. And that will be ready in three months. Nice. We have a request mission solar wind monitoring. That's a sucky request mission. Why would I do that? 
All right, let's continue on. What was that? Soviet Union is launching Mars lander in 13 months. Soviet Union is launching Saturn flyby in 15 months. Who cares? Uh, we have already completed the Jupiter flyby, the Saturn flyby we already completed, and the Mars lander. Um, yeah, we completed that like, what, seven years ago? All right. All right, I think we are doing very, very well. I think we're doing very, very well. Let's go to the next month. Funding review, we will not be getting up to the next tier, but we did get almost three and a half thousand uh, more support, which is not half bad. So yeah. Anyway, we are out of time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.